So we're having a bit of trouble trying to find where to go. We're in the boat museum with Troy and Brian. They're also lost. So we're lost together. And let's just keep quiet about the price. You said 30k, was yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Without further ado, I'll show you what the Munich car show is really like. Right, so we're just about ready. I am just about to pack up my stuff now and then I'm gonna head over. It's now 10 o'clock. It opens in about, it opens at 11, but I'm gonna pick up some breakfast. I think I'll probably just quickly go to McDonald's beforehand, but I'll probably get a scooter there and just see what's about. Maybe a coffee or avocado and egg sandwich. That would be nice. I saw one of those yesterday and I was kind of annoyed I didn't get one, but this is what it is. The thing I'm looking for, for today's show is World Cup related cards so it could be world cup prism it could be like 1994 world cup figo things like that yeah any anything that's kind of world cup related it could be stickers it could be um it could be cards i do want to mostly go for cards because i feel like the cards do sell well better on vot so the plan is to buy some inventory so i can do a world cup show on vot so i have a few vot streams at some point this month which i'm excited for and um, the World Cup one is going to be a special one. So that's my plan. I would always recommend, and I say this countless times, go to a card show with a plan of what you're looking for. Um, if you sway from that plan, that's absolutely fine. But if you've got a plan, you won't feel so overwhelmed when you get there. So that is going to be my plan. I don't ever normally go through kind of the, like, the dollar bins, the dollar boxes. So we'll be, I'll be doing that today, hopefully. Pick up some, some cheap bits, four bits. No, it's not a spot anymore, but that would have been a really good joke. Damn! Anyway, um, yeah, get ready, uh, well I am ready, but get packed and uh, we'll head out. Roaring, raring to go. So we're having a bit of trouble trying to find where to go. We're in the boat museum with Troy and Brian, they're also lost. So we're lost together. It says we're here, but... Hi guys, so we are here at the European Card Show in Munich. It's extremely busy. There's loads and loads of people here. There's two rooms. There's this one, which I'm in at the moment, which has got Tops, Dave and Adams, CSG. So there's some big vendors here, but there's another room in the separate building and it's packed. But the show does finish at 8 p.m. So I'm gonna wait for it to boil over a little bit. I've already made some really, really cool pickups, which I'm really, really excited to show you. But just filming in there is, is probably gonna be quite dangerous. I'm constantly getting sort of bumped in the back. I've got a backpack on. So if I really don't wanna drop my camera or I've got a bag and stuff with me. So I've gotta be a little bit careful. I'm gonna wait for it to, to die down, simmer down, wait for some people to go out for lunch, other bits and pieces. There's some huge, huge cards here. I've seen some absolute whoppers of cards. So I'll make sure I get some footage of that. I already have got on my phone a Conor McGregor rookie auto, which is unbelievable. I've never seen one in person. I know sports trading cards, uh, sports cards investor has one, but it's the first time I've ever seen that card. And that is, for me, an, an amazing, amazing card. So yeah, we're gonna get some, uh, I might get something to eat because I haven't actually eaten yet and I've spotted a food van over there. But without further ado, let's get some B-roll and show you what the Munich card show is really like. lovely rock to sit on. We've got the curry. This looks really good. Butter chicken this is. Let's give it a taste. Fair play, that's phenomenal. Mm. That chicken is melt in your mouth. That's an 8.5 out of 10. That is a very, very strong score. That is a very strong score. There we are. Mm -mm. It like bounces out or falls over, you just get it anyway. Right, okay. I filled this with water so it doesn't fall. 
So I've got three three balls to get one of these prizes. So wish me luck. And then we're going to do the flipper heads or tails challenge. Like here. Which is the which is the best prize? Uh, probably these ones. The, the, you want the, a ticket to the show. You want a ticket to the show. That's kind of Does that count? Yeah, of course. Should I just use this same ball? It's easier, isn't it? Oh. Oh, air ball. Buy it too? So we're flipping a coin. Um, if we get three tails, we can get one of these autos over here. And what's the other one? Robin. What's that? Is it Robin? No, oh no. no. <laughs> no <it's not> Robin. <laughs> that was Iron Robin for no, a second. That, that's, the, that's the famous Ryan Hedges. Ryan Hedges, <laughs> right. Shout out to Ryan Hedges. Yeah. It's. Oh, that's a terrible start. <laughs> right, that's the, that's the auto's going. gone. Get three heads in a row. So if you, you get, get um, if you get three tails, oh, if you get three heads in a row, you get. If you get three heads in a row, you get this one. If you get three oh, okay, tails in okay. A row, so we, oh, okay. So we, oh, okay. So we, so it could be worse. Four heads. Oh. Uh, tails. <laughs> one of each. Go again. Right. <laughs> Nice, so two SPL, one video again. Lovely. What do you think of Darwin Nunez? Uh, I mean, I'm okay with him. People like him, though. <laughs> this press brief, though. That's big time. I like how you just like, look at this, Darwin Nunez, when you just got like a, a Phil Foden out oh, yeah, of 10 just yeah. sitting there. No, it's 75, 75. Oh, 75? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you said 10. But let's just keep quiet about the price. <laughs> price, price is not good. It's gone now. It's, price, gone now. it's yeah. already gone down now if you put the price in. Th 30k, yeah. was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We'll say 50, we'll say, you know what, 100. Yeah, yeah. Round up. Thing is, that's tonight a trade night, it's going to be class, and I take this on whole collection for that. So the show's kind of like winding down a little bit. It's supposed to finish at 8 pm, it's now 10 to 5. There's people sort of moving tables, I think a lot of people are starting to go home. There is going to be a trade night at the hotel that I'm staying at, which is pretty. Lucky, I suppose. Convenient is the word I was looking for. Um, but this, the show has been a complete set, success. So basically, um, I don't know if I've already said this, but I'm doing a, a VOT stream, which is in the run-up for the World Cup. So if you're interested in any of these cards, it will be one massive VOT stream with loads of international players. So we've got like a, a Totti from Korea 2002, uh, Messi, Argentina, Kylian Mbappe, Futera, Kylian Mbappe, Mosaic, Mosaic. Cristiano Ronaldo, PSA 9. Uh, this is a cool one. James Rodriguez, gold. To 75. The World Cup songs will be playing for the whole stream. So it's going to be a good one. I'm really, really excited. I may pick up some, I've got some stuff of my own that I'll be selling as well. This is just the stuff that I picked up today for the stream, which is mainly what I came here to do. So it has been a success in that sense. I think what hasn't been a success is filming. I think even if I had the number one film extraordinaire, Patrick Mahomes, with me, I, I genuinely think we would really struggle to get content. There was not enough space between the tables at this show at all, unfortunately, which was disappointing because it, at the beginning, was extremely difficult to even get through to other tables, let alone look at what other tables had. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was a bit frustrating. So it made filming very hard because I was getting bumped into, like, a lot. There's people smacking my bag. I thought people were going to start to throw hands. Like it was getting a bit real, um, and it gets a bit annoying as well when you're flicking through something and you're constantly getting shoved in the back. Like it grates on you. The vendors have been really good, I would say. Um, there's been lots of variety. There's been lots of big cards, which is always good because I think sometimes people worry about coming to shows and there not being big cards. There was big cards. The value boxes. I don't know what the guys were called, but the value boxes were unreal. Um, I normally don't go through value boxes, that's for no reason specifically, but I'm glad I did because um, I found some absolute gems, some Fulham bits and other, other bits and pieces, so, yeah. What was it number two? We did pick him up, but he was very generous. He didn't say they were judging by the reaction, not great. Oh, Inception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to the bar. 
the number. Lampard. Uh, Silver, I think. 29. <laughs> No, 99. Oh, that's, that's, that's decent. decent. Yeah, okay. A couple hundred bucks. You sounded it, right. please. Yeah, it's right. So, that's good. Yeah.